and we are now in board zoning appeals. Before we do that, may I uh, adjourn across the hall for a couple of minutes? <laughs> yeah, we can do that. For other property owner across the road, um, I know for a fact this has been going on for at least six years. I've talked with Mrs. Linden many, many times over the last um, six years about how she could bring this property into compliance. Um, because she does own the property to the south. She also owns the property to the west, which is a landlocked property, the property of the west. Um, Mrs. Linden is attempting to sell this property um, that is highlighted in blue. A couple, I've been asked whether or not they could divide out where the driveway comes off of 170th Street. You can see that awkward piece of land that they have. Um, due to financing difficulties, they would mm -hmm. essentially they would end up having to create a non-compliant parcel regardless additionally they would then need to bring that landlocked parcel into the the plat and for financing reasons that's just really not an option for them um, so hopefully they'll be able to purchase that that sliver and then combine this and then the variance would go away but um, that's kind of some background on what's going on I will very quickly go through the uh, factors to be considered Again, this parcel has been in this configuration for several decades. Um, I don't believe the Lindens are who created this. I, I believe it was Mrs. Linden's father-in-law who, who kind of broke these pieces up over the years. Um, the granting of the variance will not adversely affect uh, rights of adjacent neighbors. This is a rural residence that will continue to be used as such. Um, the strict application of the zoning regulations would result in the applicant not being able to rebuild the existing home should something happen to it. Uh, the requested variance would not adversely affect the public health, safety, morals, order, welfare of property owners nearby. And the parcel was established over 40 years ago and has functioned again as a residential home for over 40 years. And granting the variance will allow the parcel to continue functioning as a single family residence and will provide um, some assurity in the event that something terrible were to happen to the home. The applicant is here and will answer any questions you may have. And three sides of the property are still owned by the same person. Correct, yes. So uh, I just want you all to realize that it's not just one track. She owns the property to the west, to the east, and to the south, correct? Yes. Okay. Upon opening the public comment portion of this hearing, those of you who wish to speak either for or against this item upon recognition will give you a name and address. Time to begin to speak. This is necessary since the public hearing is being recorded. The public comment portion of this hearing is now open. Will the applicant please come forward? There. Good evening. Joe Herring, Herring Surveying, 315 North 5th Street. Uh, staff went over that perfectly. The only thing I would add that the people that are under contract to purchase the 10 acres or the highlighted blue property, have reached an agreement to purchase the sliver of the ground in front, as staff stated. But this is due to a timing and closing and everything. That process can't happen in time to keep the rate locked. And they do not have approval from the mortgage of the owners to the east that they will, the mortgage company will release that sliver. So this is a kind of a fell safety net on them to allow them to purchase the ground now and to move forward. That is it. All right. Any questions? Of the Where, applicant? Where's the driveway to go in there, Joe? I mean, it's right where the there's a smaller blue dot up in the northeast. Yep, corner. I see that. The so, driveway is right there. It's just it's not well defined. Okay, so you just come like off that corner onto the onto the to uh, 170th. Yeah. Then okay. That's right where they enter. So they enter on their own right away property. But it's very okay. Very small portion. Okay. Any other questions of the applicant? Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, Jerry, uh, what what part of the sliver are we talking about? The sliver is so yeah. the little triangle. Yeah. The yeah. Small so this little teeny oh, tiny, tiny yeah. triangle yeah. here actually belongs to this property to the east. Um, yeah. When the roadway came through, it divided it. Yeah. And so it is technically part of Commissioner Mature, I would like to speculate that when that road was originally put in, it didn't do that. <laughs> well, that may be but true. roads move over time. Yeah. yeah. And somehow that got created. Yeah. See, I don't know where the reason for that road to go there. I mean, 
Yeah, and you can see it happen to the south, obviously, also. It, the, there may have been know. a rock in the middle of it, and they just kept moving off to the yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, it's where the cabin used to wander. Look at Herring. Uh, the donkey <laughs> couldn't move it. <laughs> Maybe farther off than that. <laughs> All right, anything else before we go on? Okay, well, any individuals speak, wishing to speak in favor of this request? Anyone here wishing to speak in favor? Now hear from individuals wishing to speak in opposition. Is there any additional information to be presented? No, sir. Uh, the public comment portion is hearing now closed. Are there any questions or comments, commissioners? Or I'll entertain a motion. Remember, we, we're, this is the final decision. There does not go to the county commissioners. Mr. Chairman, I move the proposed uh, variance from Article 5 uh, for under uh, case number uh, DEV 22-087 uh, be approved. Okay. Second. That was you, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Motion on the floor with a second to approve case number DEV 22-087, a variance request for Article 5 as outlined in the posted agenda. Any further discussion? Hearing none, have a roll call vote. Mark Denny? Yes. Alan Stork? Yes. Jaden Bailey? Yes. Marcus Major? Yes. Uh, Robert Owens? Yes. Um, Tom Dials? I'm still here. <laughs> yes. 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 Motion carries 6 to 0. Right. Actually, haven't been across all. I'm good for the next three hours. <laughs> Anything else? No, sir. No. We're adjourned. Oh.